and happy May the 4th. This is our special Star Wars editions of Galvanized Props. Uh, we are in conjunction with Chilton Signs. I have Nathan Chilton here. How you guys doing? And this is what we made uh, for a special project. And you may recognize this guy, R2-D2. R2, why don't you, uh, why don't you say hello? Now this took us a couple of weeks to build, uh, and uh, believe you me, we are not any part of the R2-D2 Builders Club. No. This was trial by error by error by error by error, and uh, finding what worked. And uh, we just simply started with a bowl, a uh, salad bowl from Ikea. Yep, good old aluminum bowl. And uh, so then we just took lots of pictures and we tried to figure out how we we're going to make him swivel. This is going to be part of a project that we wrapped the car in a Star Wars spaceship. And he's going to be sticking on top, so this is part of your droid co-pilot. And uh, this was the vision of Nathan. <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, my vision. And without Thomas and Galvanized Props, I wouldn't have been able to build this. I had an idea in my head and uh, I don't think I could have brought it to life quite as well. So should we go over some of the parts that we got? Absolutely. On the outside? Sure. And then we'll we, uh, the turn inside. our two off there. So we uh, we visited a little hobby shop I'd never been to before. One uh, of my favorite places, Skycraft. Skycraft in Orlando had just just about everything we needed for this project. Yeah. Surprisingly, you just have to just have to go through the, the aisles and find it. So we started with um, a large lens from was that a, that wasn't the magnifying glass was it no but it was something similar you could buy just a ba basic it was just lens. a bare, yeah a basic lens it was already already smoked and everything actually no we put black vinyl behind it that's right it was clear and then for our other uh eyes here they found a pack of jewelers, jewelers loops <laughs> surprisingly enough uh they were all black to begin with. We just uh, taped them up, spray painted them uh, the silver. Um, down here uh, in our, was, this is his radar and the- Well, that's his eye and I guess that's his, <laughs> his emotion ship. Yeah, I'll have to go, I'll go back <laughs> to my droid anatomy Again, class. we are not R2-D2 builders. Yeah. We don't. <laughs> but uh, we, we cut a hole out of the bowl here. Behind that, and we'll show you here in a second, is an LED bulb, uh, that was just sitting on the shelf, um, color changing, had a little remote control that came with it. Uh, now it did require uh, 120 volt, so we've got a little bit of a rig going here, which is not gonna be a problem in the vehicle because we've got a power inverter that we'll be using. Uh, and then from there we went with, um, what well, we had here at the shop, here at Chilton Signs, some matte blue material. And so we went with that, recreated all of the, the different uh, designs that were on him. Um, and I'll tilt the head up here so that you can kind of see where we went there. And then on the very, very top, because our salad bowl was flat on the bottom, uh, we have a speaker grill from a Bluetooth speaker that we were able to pull off, spray paint again with that matte blue, same color we used here on this uh, is that EVA foam? That's EVA foam, yes, yep. we sculpted that. Um, just put it right on top, and we mounted a portable, uh, battery-operated shower Bluetooth speaker, 10 bucks from Amazon.com, right underneath it. Um, that's pretty much it for the outside. Yep, so let's go ahead and carefully, how he's moving. Uh, Nathan was able to acquire a servo, basically a servo for an RC car, that just does left and right. It doesn't do a full 360. Yes. But we're gonna pull this out to show you the rig underneath. And so you can see our light bulb, very fashionable. We used a piece of bent aluminum and pop riveted it to the salad bowl and now those pop rivets are hiding under the lens. Yep. So you can't see that. And there's our speaker. And there's our LED flashlight which gives us our nice bright torch light for, you know, help me Obi-Wan Kenobi, you're my only hope. So that's the inside of the dome itself. Now the working mechanism, we wanted a turntable, a basic turntable, uh, and that's what we did find at Skycraft. We found one that was exactly 14 inches in diameter, it was plastic, 
and it had a plastic track within it. We said we wanted more mobility than that, so we took out the plastic track in between. Two of them. We bought two of them. Yes, because it was a lazy Susan. That's right. And so we bought two of them because there was a channel in between. Found some ball bearings right next to it. And I think it was five sixteenth ball bearings. Yep. And we bought like four packets to make sure we could fill the track. And that's what gives us our uh, mobility here. And so there's basically we use a couple layers of quarter inch, quarter inch PVC plastic. So we got the base and then we had the 14 inch diameters and then we went in one more step. So there's one, two, three, four layers of the PVC. And then yeah, we sent those to a router to get them routed out. And we also needed access holes so we could get in to, to get to parts if we needed to change things out. Mm -hmm. So there's our access port. Um, this is our servo. Yeah, and I'll hold this up if you want to go ahead and give it a crank. Okay. So you can see basically it's a basic steam engine pivot. And that gives us, a, you know, very little mobility, but it gives us a nice left and right uh, turn of the head. Yeah, I couldn't find a 360 servo online at Amazon. We originally tried some motors from a cheap $20 RC car. They're Wrong choice. There simply wasn't enough torque, so we had to go with the servo uh, instead. But this was, like Thomas said, made for an RC car. Generally, you put these up front and they would just steer your tires so they don't go full 360. And then to mount it onto the car, we found these magnets that already have like the screw base. They're basically like a magnet you could put on your fridge with a, with a hook on it. We found the thread count and we're able to screw straight through the PVC to hold these in place. And that's what you'll see doing its job tomorrow. Yep. When we get everything, uh, or later on, when we get it all onto the vehicle. So, so thank you very much for this special edition of Galvanized Props and may the fourth be with you. May the fourth be with you. Good job. Nice work.